everyone, welcome back to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to show you how I made this super cool looking camo inspired with like a copper or brass. I can't recall the metallic, but I wanted it to match my ring. Um, I have a rose gold ring and I, when I was wearing that sweatshirt, I don't know what happened. I just looked down at my hand and I thought, oh my gosh, I love those colors. So that is why I created this, but I'm very excited for this project. Can't wait to show you how I did it. So let's dive right in. Now the process is fairly simple. I did promise that I was going to leave a couple um, full process videos without doing any time lapse whatsoever. So this is one of those videos. Um, I mixed the resin. That I didn't think you guys wanted to sit and watch me do. Um, but I did mix the resin and then I poured it into the four small cups and then mixed up all of those colors. And the way that I'm laying it out is just extremely random. I just start with whatever color I picked first and just started pouring in random little blobs and then I just kept filling that up with the other colors. After all the colors were out on the board, I went ahead and just used my finger to sort of mix them together. You don't wanna go crazy with this mixing. You just wanna to barely touch into the other colors because if you start just spreading your hand over the whole entire thing, all your colors are gonna create a muddy mess. And with hunting gear and camo and stuff like that, you really wanna make sure that you still have some good solid colors. So if you notice, I'm just working around and barely touching the edge of the colors. Some of them I bring in to the, um, the honey color a little bit more, but for the most part, I just sort of spread it out. And then once I spread them all together, I make sure to bring all my colors over onto the edges. All right, now that we have a good base going on, I'm gonna go ahead and torch for bubbles. And now I'm going to add in my metallic alcohol ink. I tried spreading it with just a toothpick first, but honestly, I decided that that was not um, enough and I wanted larger amounts. So I actually just dripped it straight from the container onto the art piece. And then I just used the, the little toothpick thing to spread that around so that way you didn't see circles. And the metallic alcohol inks really like to sit on top. So even if you're spreading them around, they do pop back up for the most part. Um, and I really, I really enjoy that effect on this piece.
All right, now that I have my metallic down, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my glitter. Now, if you notice, this piece has a lot of movement. What I'm gonna do is just follow that movement with the glitter. I don't want to just, you know, go crazy and add diagonal lines when all of this is horizontal. So you just want to follow the colors, maybe pick a color that you can just stick around like the darker green or something. Um, that's just kind of how you want to make sure that you're laying out any of these colors. You keep the same flow going. Once I laid out my glitter, I did add a couple lines of clear epoxy. I learned this trick when I did the training at Countertop Epoxy in Grand Junction, Colorado, and it was fantastic. I thought it added a really unique depth to it. So again, I just followed the flow, added the clear, and then I'm going to spray it with alcohol when I'm all done with that.
and that's it. The alcohol on top really moved all of the rest of the colors and I felt like it really brought out some really cool cells and webbing effect that I really loved. And I'm going to show you guys some of the final photos that I have here. And of course, I will also post it on Instagram. The last two pictures are the closest to the true color um, that I am visually seeing that I could get. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Let me know what you thought of this project in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see y'all next week.